Officials in Moscow are strongly denying claims that Russian troops committed atrocities in Ukraine. The Kremlin calls the accusations, quote, a provocation and a smear. And it is asking the United Nations Security Council to investigate Russia's evidence that the claims are fabricated. Ukrainian officials say the bodies of more than 400 civilians have been found in Bucha, a city just outside of Ukraine's capital of Kyiv. And joining us now is Karen McQuillan, journalist for the Associated Press. Kieran, welcome. Thank you for your time today. Uh, what more can you tell us about what happened in Bucha? Um, first of all, before I start, I'd just like to explain why I'm wearing this body armor. We've just had an air raid siren here, so it is our company policy to wear this for uh, our protection. Yeah, over the weekend, Tracy, as pictures started to emerge of some atrocities which were carried out in the suburbs of Irpin and Bucha. Now, these are commuter towns uh, to the north and east of uh, the capital, Kiev. There were dead bodies in the streets wearing civilian clothes. That's what our television crews who were there saw. Some of them had their hands tied behind their back. There were bullet holes. Some of them had been uh, shot at very close range. And since then, uh, as we've been able to go in further into these towns, we've discovered more horrendous scenes of buildings that have been burnt out, people shot in their cars. Now, Russia says that all of this has been staged, managed to try and create some sort of provocation. But certainly the images that our cameraman saw and the people that he spoke to, the eyewitnesses that he spoke to afterwards, do tell a slightly different story. The cameraman I spoke to yesterday, he told me that the people that he was interviewing, those residents who had sheltered in basements and down inside buildings to try and avoid the carnage that was going on upstairs, they were totally bewildered and they couldn't really realize or imagine why the soldiers, the Russian soldiers, had been so brutal to their town compatriots and neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Karen, I understand many world leaders, including here in the U.S., are calling for Russia to be held accountable for war crimes. Um, can we talk a little bit more about that and why this latest attack is really so significant? Well, this attack is very significant because it is probably the images that will be seared into people's uh, brains because the, there is just so much palpable to, um, reaction to this all over the world. Uh, the leaders of many countries have come out and said that they believe that this is an atrocious crime and that something really does need to be done. And maybe this will move the needle of f public opinion as well in the West. Uh, you know, so far, NATO has tried not to get too involved in this conflict by sending heavy armory in. President Zelensky, in his last telephone conversation with uh, U.S. President Joe Biden, he asked for heavy weaponry. He said that he wanted to be able to, to take the fight to the Eastern Front, which is now opening up uh, in the east of this country. That basically is the weaponry that will repel Russian attacks rather than this defensive weaponry that has been put in so far by NATO countries and by the U.S. The U.S. has also committed an extra $500 million. But this $500 billion, excuse me. But this all happened before these dreadful images from Bucha uh, appeared on our screens over the weekend. And, Tracy, it's worth noting one more thing here. Uh, Ukrainians were worried that more Buchas would be uncovered as Russian forces retreated. And indeed, tonight, 40 days into this war, the prosecutor general of this country has said that num the number of dead in another town called Borodjanka will be higher than Bucha. Mm. Well, Kieran, thank you so much for bringing this report. We really appreciate it. And please stay safe. Thank you for all that you're doing.